Alright, so let's start off by setting up our React Native from scratch. Let's go into this website, reactnative.dev, and then let's click on the setting up the development environment. Now let's click on the React Native CLI like Quick Start, choose Windows and Android. Let's scroll down and skip the other ones, uh, except for this. If you have already an Android Studio, you can skip this for for other people download this because we need the simulator and then you're gonna have to follow this instruction you're just gonna have to set up a few environment variables it's really easy and let's keep scrolling and then here this is the one that we are looking for create new application so let's start creating our react native from scratch copy this and let's rename it app native house IOT Rust 4. Now it's downloading the dependencies. And let's go to where it has been installed. Let's go here. Alright, it's done and let's navigate to that folder. Okay, and yarn install. Okay, it's done. And let's open up the folder. Okay, there it is. And let's add this as well. Yarn add native elements vector icons and area context this is for designing okay now that's done let's try to run this application okay so let's not do this let's do this Because we want this to be running on Android emulator. Okay, there it is. So we can see it. Oh no, this is not the one. Still bundling. So this is the boilerplate of React Native and we're going to remove this. Let's have our own design. So from this point on, we're going to design our front end. I'm going to open my GitHub and I will just copy the layout, the original one. Let's copy this from safe area view. And then save it and also copy the this one. Components and also the separator and let's not forget the styles okay we don't need this anymore and let's create a new folder called components and let's create a file header that js and inside that file is 
this one and we're also going to need the logo that page we're gonna have to copy this as well So I paste the logo that PNG in the root folder and then let's check. Cannot find variable connection that's because in here we're going to also add some connection. Now some states, local states. it out so this is the final sign without conditions there it is so now we have our react native set up properly with a design and the next thing to do is deploy we're going to deploy this without any libraries so so that we would know what's going on let us now deploy our react native i wanted to deploy this from the first in the beginning so that we would know that nothing is wrong with our react native so let's go here publishing to google play store and then we're going to copy this this code uh, let's paste it in so keto is not recognized as an internal or external command we're gonna have to search windows keto is not recognized and let's check what stack overflow has for us it turns out that i don't have a java installed in my computer so I still have to download and install this. Now that I have done downloading my Java, let's install this. Now that's done, let's check our folder. Java, sure. Okay, so it's it's now existing. Let's try to check. It's still not there. So we're gonna have to add some environment variables. So in here we're gonna have to copy this let's go inside to the bin and I think we can find the key tool here there it is let's copy this and type in environment environmental variables and then pass let's create a new one okay 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 and we start your cell I let's try it now wait. let's try to check K to okay there it is I have now successfully installed it now let's try to run this, register it in Google, let's try to create our own password.
all right that's done so let's recap everything what we did so first we set up a react native we went to this website and follow the instruction we choose windows and android and then run it on and then initialize the project folder we went inside to the project folder and added some a few libraries for our designs and we ran the react native on an android simulator so after that it was working we proceed to deploying the react native the first to do in deploying the react native is generating a kstore file so we went to this website and follow the instructions so let's proceed to our project folder cd smart lock and then run this one so this is where we where we end up and then once you have run this it's going to create a dot kstore file in my case I created this one I forgot to rename the key so it's named my upload key dot kstore so I'm gonna copy this or in your CLI you're just gonna have to run this command so in here copy and then go to Android and then up and then paste it here replace so there it is I put it here inside my Android app so now that's done we're going to paste the environment variables at the end of the file so if we go here run vem android gradle that properties you can actually found it here at the android folder there it is gradle properties so if we open this we're gonna add we're gonna add this environment variables according to our file so you're gonna put here the name of the case store and then the name of the case store as well the password that you have set up for me I made it really simple and so if we have in the read all the properties I paste it all in here so as you can see you have my my upload key that key store and then the password so now that's done we're going to add si adding signing config to your apps gradle config we're gonna have to run this command but in my case I think I prefer editing in in Vim so let's go and proceed to this folder Android app build that gradle this one let's put it here so let's scroll down until you see the signing configs so this is the signing configs this one you're gonna copy all of this and then you're gonna paste it here and don't forget about the tabbings it's very important in your case you're probably seeing like this you're gonna have to uh, I think it's it's better if you erase the the first one and then replace it with with this config so that's it and then we also need to change a few things these are some trivial things but this is very important so that it will make your app look good so let's change the app icon in your Android you will see your icon so it has to be 192 but 192 by 192 pixels let's navigate to this folder so we are now at app then source main res map there I put mine here and then if I click properties details we can see that it is 142 by 191 as long as it's less than 192 all right next one is change the app name it's simple 
just go to values and then strings dot xml and then in th in here you have to change whatever inside the app underscore name that's it and then once you're done you're gonna have to deploy it you have to go back no no make sure that you are inside the android folder so we're going here so this one right now this is the root of the react native there is ios and there is android so let's go inside here and this is where we're going to run the deployment So guys, are you now ready? And then I'm gonna run this one. So right now, my app is deploying really fast because it's it doesn't have any condition inside yet and it only has one component. So the reason why we are doing this so that we don't have problems after we apply the Amazon IOT. Now that's done. The next instruction is check if that EPK is available at Android app build outputs EPK release. You can find it here at app build outputs APK release so in here this is your APK is already been bundled up and you're gonna copy this and you're going to upload it in your phone so that's the next instruction upload it in your Android mobile phone and then in your mobile phone you're gonna find your APK file and double click it it's going to install and once that's done it's going to look like this <laughs> 